YouTube, it's Lena and I am here today with the movie tag. I am doing this with the Geeks and Beauties community that I've mentioned many times in the past. I will link the Facebook group down below and here we go. So I have my questions right here and it, it's quite a few of them but you guys know I do like movies. I did horror movie reviews in the past and I stuck to doing Marvel movie reviews for a while but I skipped on Doctor Strange because while I liked the movie, it just didn't stick out for me. So I wound up just not doing a review for it. But I will do one for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which I will be seeing next weekend. Anyways, on to the questions. Most hated movie of all time. Wow, we're, we're starting off with a hard one here. Most hated movie of all time. What's some that I just can't... I don't know. Hmm... I'm gonna tell you one that while I don't hate because I figured out a major plot hole I can never ever watch again and it's Django Unchained <laughs> and I didn't really like the movie when I first saw it however the German guy came up with the most convoluted plot ever to rescue the Jamie Jamie Foxx's wife from the plantation Instead of being, oh, hey, we're going to do this convoluted idea where we're going to pretend to go buy, I think it was like a underground fighter slave. Like it's a movie about slavery if you haven't ever seen it somehow. However, they, but what they were really going to do was offer to buy his wife because she happened to speak German and the, the white dude do it, doing all of this was German as well, so they thought it would be like, you know, a cover and they would only pay like 300 bucks for her rather than the 10,000 or whatever it was for the fighter. And they would slip off into the night before they had to fully pay for the fighter or something. And I was like, why didn't you just be like, hey, I heard you had a German speaking slave. Can I buy her for a grand? No harm, no foul, they probably would have just sold her to you instead of, you know, everybody dying in the end. So it's not a movie I necessarily hate, but it is a movie I can literally not watch now because I scream at the screen every time I see like a clip of it or something. So maybe that does qualify, but that, as soon as I realized that, it drove me insane because you had, because it's a Quentin Tarantino movie, you had to come up with a convoluted ass plot to make any sense once you held it up to the most minute amount of scrutiny, at least for me. You guys might think differently. Movie I think is overrated. Uh, <laughs> maybe that falls into the same, maybe that's the answer for that is the same. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I got a bet, I got an answer for that. And that is, what is the name of it? 2001 A Space Odyssey. I had to watch this in college. You think, oh, well, that's when you like do drugs and get high and that's the best time to watch that. I watched it for a class, in class. I didn't get it. It's like, do I not get this because I'm not stoned out of my mind? <laughs> it drove me insane. I hated that movie. And I've never watched it since. So, you know, it was just a lot of visuals and not a lot of storyline, which Hey man, if that's your thing, go watch 2001 A Space Odyssey while doing a bunch of acid. Movie I think is underrated. I actually think people don't give the Marvel movies some of the credit they deserve. And yes, they're big blockbusters, they make a lot of money, people go and enjoy them, but there are definitely, especially in the Captain America movies in particular, and to be fair, Captain America is not personally my favorite character out of the bunch. You got, if you guys know me, you know I'm a huge Iron Man fan. I am a huge Loki fan. I am wearing my Secret Wars t-shirt right now, actually. Since we're talking about Marvel, I figured I would show that I do wear the shirts that I get for my Marvel uh, collector court boxes. Like, I do wear them over and over again. I don't just wear them, like, once and put them away or never wear them or anything like that. Like, this is just, you know, normal day wear for me. But I think people miss a lot of the, you know, deeper issues and stuff like that. Just thinking they're going to go watch another popcorn movie. So I think they don't quite get the credit for the writing they deserve. A movie I love. The Original Avengers. It's still one of my favorite movies. It still holds up five years later. I know not a lot of time, but for a non-Marvel movie, my fa I'm actually a very big horror fan. I've mentioned this a few times as well. Uh, one of my favorites is actually From Dust Till Dawn, the George Clooney 
Quentin Tarantino st starring vehicle that I found to be a really fun movie. And the vampires are the bad guys, and you don't always get to see that these days. You know, we're past the whole making fun of Twilight thing, honestly. Now we're done making fun of Fifty Shades of Grey, as far as bad movies that people inexplicably love for some reason. But it's fun to see vampires just be the super bad guys. Movie I secretly love. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Zombievers. <laughs> <laughs> it's this movie on Netflix with zombie-fied beavers. I've, I'm actually a huge fan of like bad horror movies. And I don't always like them to be the intentional bad horror movies. Like, well, it's more sci-fi, but it's like Sharknado and stuff. But Zombievers is obviously intentionally bad. But it makes me laugh my butt off. And the people that survive the longest are the people that you hate the most. <laughs> so, yeah. And even though, admittedly, I'm just gonna head spoil this for you in the movie, they kill a dog. Not like actually kill a dog, but like the characters in the storyline kill a dog. But even though they do that, and you guys know I'm a huge dog lover, I have two. Uh, even though that scene kind of kills me, uh, I still really love it. <laughs> Favorite action movie? Um, probably The Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Whenever it is on Netflix, it kind of goes on and off. That is a movie that I can watch all the time in quotes and stuff like that. Okay, let's see. Favorite drama. I'm actually not a big drama person. Just not really my thing. For one thing, I have an issue sitting for more than about two, two and a half hours for movies. Like, Marvel movies kind of push my limit at two and a half hours. I'll be honest with you right there. But dramas, especially like Oscar bait dramas, tend to be like these three hour epics and I just can't do that. So, I don't watch them very often. Favorite Western? <laughs> oh God, I've seen like five Westerns in my life, so I don't really know. Ugh, let's see, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I really have one. Like I said, the it's like drama, it's not really one that I watch very often. I almost want to say The Quick and the Dead as like a default answer, but I don't even know if that would be like my favorite Western. Oh, well, see, favorite horror. That's a hard one because I really love horror movies. And there's other than like, you know, super duper torture porn stuff, I'll watch all of it. I hate, I actually really hate torture porn movies. And if you're a horror fan, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like Saw and what was it, Hostel and that those kind of movies. The Human Centipede, I have never watched. I would never watch any of them. That is disgusting. I can't do that kind of stuff. But I don't know. I, I know I can rewatch all of the Friday the 13th movies over and over and over again, but I don't know if that's necessarily qualifies as favorite. Let's see. Most of the old school 80s slasher flicks I can watch over and over again. A hidden one that you may not know about but it's on YouTube is called The Burning and it's very much basically almost the same thing as Friday the 13th but it just has a different type of killer rather than kid who drowned in the lake. It's a different type of killer. But other than that, it's very much the same. So if you like Friday the 13th, go check out The Burning. It's actually really good and has a very young, with hair, Jason Alexander or George Costanza from Seinfeld. I thought that was really funny. Like super young, with hair, but as soon as he opens his mouth, you know it's him. It's, he's got that voice. Okay, so favorite comedy. Um, actually, probably Waiting. It's the movie with... Uh, Ryan Reynolds and Anna Ferris and a couple of others. So that is definitely a funny ass movie. And I worked in wait. I worked as a waitress for a while. It's all true. <laughs> they are t they are insane. I didn't do much partying, but I know a bunch of them who did. So yeah. Favorite Disney movie. Hmm. I don't know, I grew up in the D Disney renaissance of the like late 80s, early 90s, so hmm. I have not seen the remake of Beauty and the Beast yet, by the way, so I, I can't say anything about that. I'll probably see that when it comes out on video. But uh, let's see, 
Hmm. Um, probably Aladdin, because I really liked Robin Williams. So I guess Aladdin, that's a good one. Favorite science fiction movie? Let's see, what's the name of that movie? Um, it's right on the tip of my tongue. It was like sci-fi horror. It didn't get a good, didn't get much publicity when it first came out. It was kind of voted down. Oh my goodness, it has Lawrence Fishburne in it. I love this movie and I can't think of the name of it. I don't know, I'll have to put it right here. But it's such a good movie because it's where they sent a spaceship through a black hole, Event Horizon. It's Event Horizon. I'll still put it before just so that I'm not insane. But they sent a spaceship through a black hole to travel to the different part of the universe. And apparently it went through a dimension of pure chaos where everybody goes insane and kills each other. It's basically like a hell dimension. Really awesome one if you're into that sort of thing. I actually really like space horror movies when I can find them. So if you guys know of any, definitely like let me know down below. All right, favorite animated movie. I know that's not actually covered by favorite Disney movie. What is my favorite animated movie? I don't know. Like, I really don't know. What was the last? I can't even think of the last damn animated movie I saw because I haven't seen the last couple of Pixar movies either. So I can't even say one of them. Like, I don't like to go see movies that are going to make me cry in the theater and most animated movies have at least one hardcore crying moment. So I tend to skip them, but I don't know. So favorite superhero movie? Didn't I already say this is the Avengers? If I don't pick the Avengers, I pick the original Iron Man. I, that movie was perfect. Like, it, other than maybe a stronger villain, it even just just Daniels did good with what he had, so it still works pretty well. Uh, favorite musical, I'm going to say Cry Baby, because I think it's awesome. I am admittedly not a huge uh, musical fan. My husband's the much bigger musical fan than I am. I know, right? <laughs> I didn't really know what to make of that when he told me that, but whatever. Whatever works, huh? So I would say Cry Baby, a John Waters film, but that's probably one of the few musicals I would watch. Hmm. Favorite documentary? I really don't know. For the longest time, when I was younger, I would have said Super Size Me, but going back on it, you know, people... But then it came out later that people couldn't really figure out his meal plan that he was going by and he was probably sneaking in an extra like 2,000 calories a day to be gaining the weight that he was. And he wouldn't provide anybody with his meal plan and stuff like that, which kind of sucks. So I can't really say that anymore, although I can still enjoy watching it. So I don't know if I necessarily have one. Favorite bad movie. Oh boy. Um, I'm a bad movie connoisseur. Let's see. Hmm. Zombievers is a really good one. <laughs> um, if I don't say that, what would I pick? Favorite bad movie. I used to have a stack of them before my house burned down, but I have a lot of the bad movies are really hard to find. I have actually seen most of these Sharknado movies. I've seen one and two. But, uh, it's not that I don't enjoy them. It's that they're just a little too on purpose for my taste. Uh, actually, Lake Placid 2. It's a sci-fi movie that they made. It's actually pretty fun to watch. So, I guess I would say that. Childhood favorite? Probably The Little Mermaid. I know I watched that until like I killed the cassette, not the cassette, the VHS. That's showing my age right there. I had a VHS. And I had a copy of the original movie with like the penis castle on it. I know I did. <laughs> we don't, like I said, we, we, I killed it, so. Okay, so favorite franchise, Marvel. No, no shock there. Best trilogy. Ooh, that's a hard one. 
I know I really liked Lord of the Rings back in the day, but I could, that's one of those that I could not sit through now because they're so long. I never saw The Hobbit. I thought it was stupid that they made that into a trilogy. Maybe two movies, but definitely not three. And I just didn't hear good things about it as they were coming out. Hmm. I don't know. Favorite best trilogy? I don't know. I kind of want to default and say the Iron Man movies of one, two, and three, but while well, I really loved one and two, three wasn't actually very good. Like looking back on it, it was fine. It's enjoyable to watch, but it wasn't very good. So I can't say that. So I don't really know. Guilty pleasure, just those bad horror movies. I love me a good bad, a, a good bad horror movie. I'm actually really big into zombie movies. Um, I loved George Romero while I was going through college and while some of his later zombie movies weren't as good, like the original three or four, I loved. And I really loved some of the remakes of his movies too, actually like the, uh, let's see, Tom Savini directed a remake of the original Night of the Living Dead. That was really good. Uh, there was the Z Zack Snyder remake of Dawn of the Dead that was really good, you know, before he got his hands on DC movies and started barfing all over them, whatever you want to call it. Barfing his angst all over it. So that would probably qualify as my favorite director too, is George Romero. Uh, favorite actor, uh, let's see, probably Tom Hiddleston or Robert Downey Jr. You know, Loki and Iron Man. I don't really have a favorite actress. <laughs> I just haven't found much, many actresses that I've really gotten into, like hardcore got into. I do really like Scarlett Johansson, but I don't know if I'd necessarily call her my favorite. She might be who I default to as a favorite if I had to pick one. Because I do really love her as Black Widow. Favorite movie this year so far. God, what have I actually seen this year? <laughs> I don't know what would qualify as something I've seen this year that I would, that would consider my favorite. I wanted to go see Logan really bad and then I realized I'm going to ball my head off in the theater so I'm going to wait till it comes out on video. Um, oh, favorite actor? Um, Ryan Reynolds would actually probably qualify for that too. I'm dying to go see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 so ask me that again in a week and that will probably very likely be my answer. I loved the first one. That is definitely one of the Marvel movies I can rewatch over and over and over again and laugh my head off. Uh, Batista as Drax is like one of my favorite things ever. I would follow that dude around like a puppy all day if I met him <laughs> because of Drax. I love that character. Worst movie so far this year. See, you're still hitting on the whole, I don't know what I've seen that's new so far this year. What did I see in theaters this year? I know I've seen a couple of things, but God help me, I couldn't tell you what they were, so they didn't stick out too bad. I'm totally going to think of something while editing this and probably put it in the thing, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. You know, movie I have recently seen. I don't know! <laughs> Shit. Like I said, ask me again in a week, because I'm going to go see the midnight showing of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yay! What I thought of the blech. Favorite movie of all time. Avengers fan. I love it. Probably Avengers from Dust Till Dawn. Those are two of my favorite movies that have been my favorites for years now, especially Dust Till Dawn. That was my favorite as soon as I first saw it when I was like in junior high. <laughs> so, I mean, give me some good movie recommendations down below. If you're a horror fan like I am, definitely throw some, you know, lesser known recommendations at me. Because I've seen all the major ones other than, like I said, the, you know, torture porn stuff that I just don't watch. I think I've only ever seen, like, the first two or three Saw movies and I called it quits. I was like, I'm done with this. And I saw the first Hostel and wasn't really into it. That stuff's just not my thing. Anything where I have to cringe and cover my eyes because I can feel what they're doing to the people on screen, I can't do. For some reason... Uh, axe wielding maniac doesn't freak me out, but seeing somebody jab a knife into somebody's eyeball, I can't, I can't do. I think it's about the way they're shot or something like that. So, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I'm 
super appreciate it. Uh, I'd love to see you guys do this tag too. I love seeing what other people like. So see you later. Bye.